I think it's important to realize that bullying is not a conflict, but is a form of peer abuse. It's basically a fundamental human right for a student to feel safe at school and be spared this kind of re repeated humiliation that is implied in bullying. Bullying is definitely a serious problem in, in today's schools. We have a, a lot of uh, large-scale surveys showing that uh, something between 15 and 30 percent of the students are involved with regularity in these problems. As students who are bullying others, students who are being bullied by others, and those who are both bullied and bully others, and it has a lot of negative consequences, this behavior. For children who are bullied, this is a very hurtful and bad experience, which may have long-term consequences also for them. They develop anxiety, depression, they poor self-esteem, they put the blame on themselves, they may develop psychosomatic or somatic symptoms like headaches, um, stomach aches and so on, and they may uh, perform more poorly academically, and uh, this rejection by the peer group is very hard for them to, to handle, and uh, they engage in more suicidal ideation, and often their e negative evaluation of themselves becomes so massive that they see suicide as a natural outcome. Students who bully are typically aggressive. That's implied in the definition, of course, but they are also more generally aggressive towards adults, teachers, and parents. They have a positive attitude to violence and violent means as a way of solving problems. They, have, uh, they are impulsive. They uh, have little empathy with the victims. Often they see uh, the bullying as uh, something fun. And if they are boys, they are often physically stronger than boys in general. But students who bully are likely to break uh, rules in various ways, and therefore they often engage in other antisocial activities uh, besides bullying. So they, if they, their behavior is not stopped, they are likely to continue on an antisocial path involving criminality, uh, drug abuse, uh, destructive uh, personal relationships, and so on. And uh, therefore, it's extremely important to do something about these problems, not only for the sake of the victims, who are the uh, major motivation, of course, but also for the sake of bullies. Bullying is certainly not uh, only affecting those who are directly involved, those who bully others, and those who are exposed to the bullying. It has also effects on other students in the classroom, which are they are usually called bystanders. And um, if you have uh, much bullying in a classroom or other group, this will uh, affect the uh, whole atmosphere and create the school climate or classroom climate of fear and apprehension. Much of this knowledge has been derived on the basis of extensive research over more than 30 years, actually. And um, we have clearly uh, shown that this is a prevalent problem in most schools and which must be addressed in a systematic way, and that's why we have developed the Olveus Bullying Prevention Program. The Olveus Bullying Prevention Program is a comprehensive school-wide program to prevent and reduce bullying behavior in school. It works at four different levels, the school level, the classroom level, the individual level, and also the community level. The program was first developed in the context of a nationwide campaign against bullying in Norway, which was initiated by the fact that three boys, young boys, had committed suicide, uh, most likely as a consequence of severe victimization by peers. And in that context, the Ministry of Education uh, gave us funding to implement and evaluate the program in 42 schools in Bergen, which were followed over two and a half years, actually. And the results were quite positive. We have now six large-scale evaluations of the program involving more than 40,000 students over the past 20 years or so. And we have typically found uh, reductions by 30 to 50 percent. So it means that uh, it will make the life better for many, many students. 
We also found and been able to document that the program does have effect not only on bullying problems, but also on antisocial behavior more generally, like vandalism, uh, truancy, substance abuse, uh, and similar problems. In addition, it has uh, been shown to improve school climate and classroom climate, attitudes to schools, and so on.